They say it's marked by the soul of the north coast of Ireland and an innovative and perfectly balanced Irish single malt whisky, which is rich in hue, approachable in taste, and memorable in character. So stay tuned to Whiskey Straight and join me, Big Al, as I explore just how approachable and memorable it is. So what is the Saxton, or even a Saxton? Well, I've always thought of a Saxton in church terms. So where's the whiskey connection? So it says on the bottle, to be the Saxton is a spiritual trade and whiskey is his favourite. So we'll take a look at the bottle and see what else it tells us. Now it says here, up in the cold grey northern reaches of County Antrim, alongside St Cullum's Rill, the Saxton selects the best strains of barley for malting. Patiently distilled in copper pot stills to create a precious exiler. The Saxton whisky is a smooth and flavourful single malt of intriguing complexity. Show up before dawn and you catch the cool morning breeze, the unmistakable oak from breathing casks, once filled with Spanish sherry, now brimming with aqua vitae. Seal it up and savour the notes of rich dried fruit and complexity driven by years in a deep oaken case slumber. What it doesn't really say in the bottle is that what's inside is made from 100% Irish malted barley and as you would expect it is triple distilled. This is a creation from Alex Thomas who is one of the few female master blenders out there in the industry. So let's get right under the nose and see how it goes from there. Now straight off it's quite fragrant. There's lemon, that's not uncommon for an Irish whiskey. But then we're coming right in the back of that now fairly quickly as well as those dry fruits and they are rich in nature just as it says on the bottle itself. Now what I'm also getting here is uh, a sense of potpourri. It's very reminiscent you know of those bowls of dried plants and whatnot that are put out, particularly at Christmas, uh, to provide a bit of extra fragrance around your house. And those kind of notes are, are quite prominent here too. Now there's also a touch of maltiness in there. And uh, it's, it's reasonably subtle. And as I mentioned, the lemon's still there as well, but it's not overly citrusy, it's not overly sharp, it's more mellow and subtle in nature, but it still is quite distinct. Now there's some candy coming into play here now too. It's like a sweet candy essence, uh, which is really quite nice. But what's even nicer, what's coming right in with that as well, to add a nice wee fruity punch there at the end, is uh, some red apples. And it really does add a nice fruitiness into the mix here. Now it is a very nice nosing experience, there's a lot of lovely aromas in there, but it does give a sense that this is just at the standard 40 ABV. Taste time folks, slant ya. Very nice, sweet and it's fruity. And that sherry influence from the, the Oloroso casks is very, very to the fore. But thankfully the sweetness is nice and complimentary with that fruitiness as well. It's not overpowering and it's not too sweet, like a sickly sweetness. It's really, really nice. Oh yeah. Now there come those dried fruits. I'm with it. There's some baking spices as well. And you know what? It gives it a nice kick, a nice wee bit of a bite on the end. <sighs> yeah. Now, as I said at the end of the nosing, you can really get when you nose it that, you know, this is a standard 40% ABV. But when you get right into it on the palate and you take a few sips, you know, you can really be forgiven for mistaking that this is a higher proof, like maybe 43, 46% uh, ABV. And you know, for me, that's a good thing because it's a sign of a good whiskey. 
I'm getting now a bit more of a sultana note. Raisins as well. And perhaps even a little sprinkling of demerara sugar. It's just really, really a nice, nice flavours in there. Really nice whiskey. And now as it reaches the sides and the back of the palate and lingers a bit. I'm getting a bit of cola as well. And, hmm, I do believe that's the first for me. I don't think I've ever had a cola flavour in a whiskey tasting before, but that's not a bad thing. Who doesn't like cola? I find the mouthfeel initially a wee bit creamy, but then it gets a bit chalky in nature, but that's okay. I don't mind that because it keeps all those flavours nicely knitted together. And it's all leads to a rather pleasant finish of sherry, the dried fruits, touch of the sweeter fruits and the red apple, and then that cola surprise at the end. So the finish, I just wish it lasted a bit longer. Now, that said, it's not short. It's, it's somewhere in the middle there, nice and medium, but by God, this is a really nice whiskey. All in all, despite the lack of an edge statement here, this is a cracking wee whiskey. It's big in the market, and you just have to look at how lovely the bottle itself is. You know, it's, it's a great, it's a great design bottle. Bit of a bugger to pour from at times, but really nice design. And sure, look at that. Just look at this stopper here. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Probably my favourite stopper of any of the whiskey bottles I've tried yet. At the end of the day, despite all the fancy marketing, the fancy bottles, the, the stories and whatnot, what really matters is what's in the bottle and is it quality. And this is where the sexton here delivers on all fronts. It delivers on market, it delivers on the look, and it delivers on the quality. You know, it's a pity that it's only at 40%, but it's, it's still a young product. Uh, but it's that good that it drinks as if it was a higher ABV. And what's also important to point out about the uh, Saxon here too is it delivers above its price point. You know, but around the 30 quid mark, that price to quality ratio, you know, you just can't go wrong with it. Now, I really do hope that a few years down the line, the Saxon will come out with a higher proof edge stated version and even a cask strength because I think they would be awesome you know there's this is a great great start a great great price and there's so much there to build on so let's hope that the initial success keeps on going and we can look forward to more exciting and greater things to come from the Saxton I think you really got to try this if you're into your whiskey at all because it just delivers in all areas and it's affordable. You know, I picked this up in my local Barbican Nissa store in Annalam. And if you're local and you're watching this, you know, pop down there, pick it up. It really is a great bargain and it really is a step up from your Black Bush, your Jameson and all that. I'm not knocking them, they're good whiskies too. Eh? But this really is a touch above those. Right. And I know probably most of you who are watching this aren't local, but if you haven't had it, go out, see if you can pick it up somewhere and try it. I really think you won't be disappointed. I know there's going to be much more of this in my shelf. And as I say, I'm looking forward to great things to come from the Saxon. That's it for now, folks. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on what's coming up. And if you've had this before, let me know down below what your thoughts are on it. Until the next time, folks, stay safe and drink your whiskey the way. You like it. Slauncher. Ah, oh, shit, bollocks. What was that bloody cat doing?